Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I wanted to show you guys a few updates that Canva has made. You are seeing this video because the current course that you are taking may not have these features in them or you might have gotten halfway through the course and Canva's done an update. So your stuff may look slightly different. So what I'm doing is I'm within my Canva document and I have made this design. And one thing that's different about Canva is that instead of copy, they changed it to duplicate. If you right click, you see a menu, copy, paste, delete, send to back, send to backward, forward to front. So those are a few different things that have changed. You may also see this little paintbrush. And within this, if you have a font that you like, you can take a paintbrush. You want to highlight the font that you like. Take the paintbrush and I'm going to hover it over this music, which is in a script, and it'll automatically change it. So there's also these little tabs that does not stretch the text, but it increases the text box boundaries. And then the corners, it doesn't stretch the text, it just automatically proportionately signs it down, sizes it down. And that's what it looks like. So within Canva Pro, you can also automatically resize your designs. And then when you go to download it, you can do PNG all these things. They also put a video beta in here, which what beta means is that it's in, is that it's in its testing phase. So it could have some glitches and bugs in it. I don't know too much about the video beta right at this present moment, but that is something I want to explore and get into. So I'm pretty excited about that. And um, within Canva Pro, you have the option to do a transparent background. And then if you want to size this twice the size, it automatically increases that. But I'm just going to do it the original size, and then you can click download. Those are just a few changes that Canva has made. It may look a bit different, but everything is pretty much the same. So I hope this update makes sense, and I hope it better navigates you through past courses or current courses that have had a older version of Canva through the first half and then has a new version of Canva for the rest of the half. It's hard to create courses and try to make them coherent when there is an update. So hopefully this explains everything. I hope you enjoyed this short, brief little tutorial. Please also don't forget to leave a review and you can move on to the next tutorial.